So you want to make $125 a day playing games sitting at home? As we progress as a nation, technology has been making moves to help the society grow. And as it evolves, technology has been made accessible for people. One development technology has been with games as video games have been moving away from arcade machines to the comfort of our own personal computers. However, not everyone has the eye and PCs and can only play small games because of the limited memory space they have. But thanks to browser games, people can still enjoy video games without having the trouble to download a specific app. So let us talk about the browser blockchain games that you would want to play in order to earn. But before we continue, hello and welcome to another video from Crypto Cash Out, the channel that is easy to access to learn more about the crypto space. We would like to remind you all that please do not take what we say here as financial advice. Again, we are not financial advisors and we only make these videos for the purpose of informing you about the topic. If you fancy a game in this list, then we highly recommend you to do additional research after watching this video. Trust us, it's for the best. Blockchain games may have to be one of the most important innovations in our world today. It gives people entertainment while giving them tons of opportunities to earn with tokens and NFT features of the game. With blockchain gaming, people are able to earn thousands or even more especially when they dedicate time and effort in the games they play. However, not everyone can play blockchain games because of the limitations of the technology they have. Not everyone can download the latest AAA game because of poor specifications of their PC. And not not everyone can play mobile games without having to restart their phone to cool it down. So, a good way to keep playing the game is with browser games that do not require a whole lot from your computer but will still make you money. So, here are 5 of the best browser games that you can play right now. Let us start off our list with a spicy one. Splinterlands is a TCG or trading card game. And because it is a trading card game, we already know what that means. It means that the mechanics of the play to earn feature of the game consists of you collecting cards and fighting other players. If you can beat the players, then there are rewards waiting for you to collect. And again, TCG which means that if you are familiar with games such as Yu-Gi-Oh! or Hearthstone, then this game will be a breeze for you. The game has an active community with over a million players collecting cards and battling them out. The cards that people collect have varying rarities. The rarer the card you have, the more expensive it will be in the market. The cards are NFTs that can be common, rare, epic, and legendary so you can flex them to your friends or sell them to earn some profit. Signing up for the game is quite easy and you can do it easily. In order to participate, you must first buy a set of cards through Steam and login. Logging in takes only a few clicks and it is very easy. After that, you can start playing the game after you buy your first pack which is not a lot of dollars. What I like with Splinterlands is that it takes innovation to the whole genre of trading card games by integrating another genre of games. The subgenre that is also a mechanic of the game is an auto battle simulation. If you haven't heard of this video game genre, don't worry, we'll walk you through it. Auto battler games are, as the name suggests, the game where you don't have to do anything when the battle starts. The only thing you need to do is to strategically place your units, in this case, your cards, in order to give them the best chances of winning. But of course, it is not that easy. I mean, it wouldn't be a game if you can just place your strongest cards in the field and expect to win, right? There are a couple of things that you need to consider. The first thing is your mana which will basically limit the cards that you can put on your field as there is a mana cost to each card that you also need to manage. The second thing you need to keep in mind are the types and attributes of cards you are working with. Each card unit has differing attack, speed, and health attributes that you need to keep in mind when it comes to placing them. Some cards are also have special abilities you need to keep in mind. In positioning your cards, you would also want to keep in mind the elements affiliated with the cards like fire, air, and plenty more. Remember that there are over 500 cards for you to collect so there are different ways to play in the game. The last thing that I think is important are the people you are up against. Remember that they are also trying to win the game and will do their best to do so. So for you to win, you must set the pace of the game while trying to predict what the enemies will do for their next move. If you win the games, then you will earn the in-game currency which is the Dark Energy Crystal or DEC to earn. Also, if you have extra cards that you don't think you will need, you can always sell them in the marketplace to earn a bit more. Next game in our list is a game called EV.io. 
If you're a fan of shooting games, then this is the browser game for you. The game takes a lot of inspiration from shooter games that were famous in the past like Destiny and Halo. Even if you haven't played those games, as long as you're familiar with shooters, then this game will be easy to pick up. Just aim at the enemies and fire. But of course, shooting and beating enemies will be one of the things you need to keep in mind. But there are other things as well. There are other mechanics in the game that are fun and action-packed such as teleportation, triple jumping, and other abilities that you have to utilize in order to increase your chances of winning. The game has been out for quite a while now and has already gathered over 400,000 users to play their game. Again, the game is on the browser so you really don't need to download any software to play the game. And even though they have been around for quite some time, the developers of the game want to release new content for the game by launching new mini games that will attract players worldwide. Also at the time of writing this video, there's an NFT minting even for EV.io. So, if you want to get your hands on those sweet, sweet NFTs, now would be the time to do so. Of course, rarity comes to play in the price of these NFTs. These are also abilities in the game that affect the price of each NFT avatar. If you want to play the game, then you can just head onto the website and see if the game is truly for you. The third game on our list is called League of Kingdoms and oh boy is this a fun one. Basically in League of Kingdoms you must be in possession of lands and you must take care of that land which is an NFT. And because it is an NFT, you can sell it in the marketplace later on. But no one will buy your land if you take care of it poorly, right? That is why you need to develop it, make it pleasing and keep it protected. Another thing you can do with your land is to build kingdoms with it. Like, you will be the king of the land and it is your job to protect it, build walls to keep your citizens safe, etc, etc. But the things you do in the game are not limited to defending either. You can also be on the offensive by building barracks and the academy in order to train your troops and conquer other kingdoms in the game. And there are the things that you can do as well such as designing and developing your land in a way that it will give you passive income. What I mean by that is, there are farms that can gather important resources that can help you develop your land. Remember, the way you develop your land is important as it will be the basis if people want to buy it or not. The more you develop it, the higher your land can go. You can sell it on OpenSea and always remember that you must present your land NFT the best way. The game can also be played with friends in the form of guilds and alliances. These guilds will make you stronger and help you conquer more lands in the future. Overall, a great game to play with friends and a fun game to play even when alone. So, go check out League of Kingdoms if you feel like it. If you're a fan of dungeon crawler type of games, then the next game is right for you. Titan Hunters is an MMO-RPG game that takes the elements of what makes a game a dungeon crawler and mixes a bit of pixelated graphics to appeal to a wide audience. The game is more famous from its mobile counterpart but you can also play it on browser for more flexibility with the game. This game lets you explore different areas of the map and it is your job to beat monsters and collect items. The monsters in the game are called titans and they are no easy task to defeat. But again, you can easily beat them thanks to your mechanical skills and the items you have which we will talk more about in a bit. There are two main game modes in the game. The first game mode is the adventure mode which is single player. It is good if you want to explore and take all the time in the world to collect items. But the main premise of the game is still there. You must explore the area in order to find titans to defeat and hunt down the final boss that will give you awesome rewards. The second game mode is a multiplayer mode. This is great when you have friends that also play the game. But teaming up with other people means that the areas and the enemies you fight will also be stronger. But again, more people mean more skills to have. In order to have better chances in the fight, it is important to have a great synergy with your friends and do combo attacks on the enemies. This will increase your chances of winning. If you play well in the co-op mode, you will be the MVP of the team and earn more rewards as a result. Apart from earning rewards as a result of engaging in battle, there are also other ways in order to earn in the game. Like the previous before this, NFTs will play a role in earning here. The main NFTs that you need to take note of are the characters that you equip gears with. So yes, you also need to keep in mind that the gear you're using to help you with the rounds you're playing, not only will it be good when playing, it will also be good for selling later on. 
the last game on our list is called Meta Gear. You probably heard of this game already, but if you haven't yet, then don't worry, we will tell you about it. Meta Gear is basically robots fighting each other to see who is the best designed robot. It is player versus player and one must use the robots to fight with other robots. Now, in designing the robots, there isn't a limit as you can design them however you like. The robots are NFTs which means that you can sell them in the future if you want to change bots. But remember that the robot you are selling should be presentable and strong too. So, design it well to attract potential customers in the future. Anyway, in designing your robots, you have quite a lot of things to take note of. Of course, the body must be able to take attacks from the opponents. But if you put all your stats in defense, then you can attack the enemy. You must also put weapons in your robots to help you take down the enemy robot. There are plenty of robot parts for you to choose from and you have to be intricate in choosing parts as it will be the basis of your victory and selling price in the future. There are three game modes in the game. Campaign, Quick Fight, and Tournament. Each of these game modes are unique in a way as they have similar battle styles but the stakes are different. Not only that, but you will have different reasons to fight for. Basically, the campaign is PvE while the quick fight and tournament modes are PvP. Once the battle starts, the robot is on its own. The robot will receive minimal instructions from you when the battle starts. Once it enters the battlefield, you can just hope and pray that your design is better than the design of the opponents. The first robot to have 0 HP after the game ends loses. That is why it is important that you design your robot in a way that will counter attacks while still able to dish out damage. If you win in any of the game modes, then you will be rewarded with blueprints. Blueprints may be one of the most important assets of the game apart from the in-game token. Blueprints will allow you to create robots in the future. You will also have the option to sell the blueprint too if you don't feel like creating robots at the moment. So that's it, what do you think of the games? Be sure to comment down below your thoughts on the game for a chance at a shout out giveaway. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to like it as it really helps us a ton. Also, subscribe to help us grow and reach more people with our videos. We also have a video on Soul Stars which is a rhythm game that allows you to feel like a star. So, go check that out if you want to learn more about the game. Thanks for watching and we hope that you enjoyed watching and learning with us. Stay safe and have fun cashing out!